Good morning. How's everyone today? Hope y'all are doing well. Um, I just want to share with you guys. Let me get this camera straight. How's that? Are we good? Yay. Okay. I hope I can, uh, y'all can see me and I can see you. I'm going to try to watch out for everything over here on my iPad, but I'm not sure that it's going to tell me when somebody's actually um, commenting, this, which is really what I wanted to see was comments when you guys show up. So hopefully this will happen in just a minute. Yay! Okay, first off, I love you guys. I'm so glad that y'all are coming and being part of these uh, readings every week, every day, actually. I've been doing them every day lately. Kind of got away from it. Um, what I want to say is that on Thursdays, the 9 o'clock time spot seems to be pretty good uh, for getting prepared and everybody showing up and being here with me. But on Thursdays, I like to be in my Qigong class that I signed up with with my senses that gave, that I earned my certificates to be a Qigong instructor for. So I'm going to um, change the time on Thursdays to either um, earlier before the class starts, which might very well be the thing, because, uh, yeah, earlier or after. So look for a time change on some of these as we go along, but for sure on Thursday, because I really want to be in my, with my team, you know, with my peeps over there. So today it's kind of different. I keep hearing the word galactic, 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 and I know that we all are galactic. We all are from the stars we're made up of stardust if you don't know that we have so many beautiful um, things that make up our body and we are stardust so yeah and I don't know if y'all noticed on my page that one of somebody one of my friends posted a pretty picture of what one cell looks like that makes up our body that was really 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 um, um, really focused in on it's just gorgeous it's just gorgeous and that's one cell for us so we are more than what we think we are that's what they just said we are more than what we think we are so I'm glad to know that anyway I'm going to draw from this deck this is the Galactic Heritage card now this is a little different deck. This is a little way that we can start expanding our thinking, practicing um, non-judgment, practicing being open, uh, practicing allowing others to believe a certain way without having to go ballistic on them. Um, just all kind of stuff for our development in humanity. Okay? So from this cards, hi Cheryl. How are you, honey? So glad to see you. Um, so from the Galactic Heritage cards, they're just very, very different. Very um, unusual. So I feel like we need to start playing with a little bit of un unusualness. So the card that drew is number 99. 99. Mirror Reflection from Zeta Reticuli and it says future. I warned you, they're very different. Very different. So let me get my glasses because I know I know that um let's see if I can see comments. No? Yeah, no. Yeah. Very different. Oh, I don't want to hear me. Hold on. So let me get my glasses. Hold on, guys. I know. <laughs> it's a little behind there, isn't it? There's glasses. So. Odd looking, isn't it? Zeta Reticuli, number 99. 
number 99. Don't use this deck really often, uh, but when I do, I it's kind of interesting. So, mirror, reflection, future. One of the reasons for the fearful Zeta encounters human had in the past was so we could look into the reflection they represent and see ourselves. They were a major force to help humans confront their species' fears. They show us ourselves. Mm -hmm. The full journey of human consciousness from fear to love and to ultimate reunification with the Source. This card asks you to begin looking at your fears as a reflection of what you need to see. Don't look away. As you look fear in the eye, you can begin to see transformation and that you have all the answers you need. Let fear transform into love as the Zetas did. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, Cheryl, mirrors are the best teachers. Absolutely. So here's a commentary. You know, see? See, this is a lot on here. This card refers to the Zeta era in which their species, fears, and challenges were behind them, and they became an enlightened species. Whenever we meet a true enlightened being, that being comes with a clear mirror in which we can see ourselves, the beautiful and the ugly. Yeah, it's perfect. This is one of the gifts enlightened beings have to give to us. Because the Zetas, as a species, experienced and confronted their deepest fears and desperation and nearly did not survive, they were able to purge their addiction to polarity and separation, integrate their fears, and awaken. Wow. I can see now why this card's drawn right now. If this card came up in your reading, its meaning depends on the other cards in your life circumstances. Most likely, the card is suggesting that you begin a spiritual process of truly confronting and healing your fears and allowing them to transform you. This process cannot be postponed indefinitely as you sincerely wish to evolve. Conversely, the card may be acknowledging your recent success with this process and that you have made a shift. If you feel a connection with the Zeta species, it is also most likely knowledge, knowledge, acknowledging that you are connected with Zetas from this time stream. Go within and ask your higher self what, if anything, you need to confront and then be willing to clearly see its reflection. This revelation and the subsequent healing that comes from this process can be deeply profound. Don't look away from the mirror reflection. Okay, that's pretty pretty amazing. Mirrors are great teachers for us once we let ourselves really do it. A lot of us when in the past and different um, teachings that we've been through for spiritual growth and development is look in the mirror and say how much you love yourself and a lot of people can't do that you know because their self-love they have love for others but they don't have so much self-love this work with this mirror reflection of noticing and finding out what your fears are and facing them when you face those fears they're no longer fears they don't stop you control you drive you crazy any longer you become connected in with your true divinity and then you can look in the mirror and say i love you much simpler much easier don't you think Look at the back of these cards. They're pretty interesting. So, number 99, Zeta Reticuli, Future, Mirror Reflection. 
I hope you like the card. I know that uh, a lot of us has been doing mirror work, and now this might just put it into a little bit of a next level, a little bit of a deeper reaching in. The dark side is not necessarily bad. It's here to teach us. We just need to be grateful for that and let it move on. Yeah. Hi, thank you, bye. How's that? <laughs> okay, I got it. Thank you, bye. Try that. Okay. Love you. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye for now.